Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Red Card Headbutt Wrestling. We are coming to you live from the Channel 72 studios for tonight's broadcast. I apologize, but we are still currently experiencing what I like to call a case of the Ring of Honors with our remote uplink, which we should be getting fixed very shortly. Frank in the truck is telling me that things should be up any second and that I should be seeing the live feed any moment now. I am still only able to hear what's going on at a remote location and it sounds like the fans in attendance tonight are ready for action. I'm being told that as soon as Frank hits the button, the uplink should be complete. Frank, hit the button. Frank, this has got to be some kind of a goddamn joke. I mean, look at the entrance area, for Christ's sake. It looks like a little kid's diorama. And that plastic pumpkin, Jesus Christ. I've been missing mine since October, and I think I know where the damn thing went. I haven't even seen the ring yet, but I imagine... Frank, am I seeing what I think I'm goddamn seeing? I am, huh? Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Don't you think somebody should have told him that he could have either donated money to the ALS fund or poured the ice bucket over his head? He didn't have to go that damn far. I mean, Frank, seriously, how is this even supposed to work? This is completely insane. I mean, how is he going to wrestle? Seriously. How is he going to do a collar and elbow lockup? He tries to lock up with his opponent. It's going to look like he's trying to get his detention at a goddamn bus stop. Well, at any rate, I'm being told this match is going to be between two houses. Never seen so many rusty wagon wheels at a wrestling show before. It's also going to be a two-on-one... Oh, I'm going to get thrown off the air for this. A two-on-one handicap match between the Swedish Ninja and his partner, Captain Jack. And they are going to be taking on the man coming to the ring at this time. He's known as the Million Donut Man. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a real killer. I heard he once knocked off a five-gallon bucket of Tim Bits in one sitting, only soiling himself twice in the process. He's entering the ring, and sweet, merciful Jesus, would you look at that referee. As you can plainly see, he, much like Captain Jack, is trying to hide his identity by covering his eyes. He's checking for foreign objects, and the match is set to begin. Say, Frank, do they even have a bell? I mean, this place looks like a random throwaway scene from under the dome where Big Jim tries to bring down the dome with shitty wrestling. The Million Donut Man has gotten bum rust, and boy, do I mean bum rust in the corner. Captain and the Ninja are setting him up for an Irish whip. Nobody said the Ninja wasn't able to get his hands up to block a clothesline from the Million Donut Man. You've got to wonder now what their strategy is now that they've taken their best shot and it failed. I would imagine they are completely stumped. The Donut Man is completely dominating at this point, and the captain goes for a spin kick, but it fails. We get a shot to the gun. If he hits this, it's all over. A choke slam by the Million Donut Man. It's all academic at this point as the referee mercifully makes the three count. Frank in the truck is telling me over my headset that we're already getting several angry calls in from the station, so I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you all for watching Red Card Headbutt Wrestling, and we will see you next time.